Okay, insert cool intro here. All right guys, Johnny Nerd out here. It's gonna be a hot day today. Not that this matters to you at all, but I'm trying to get these videos done in the morning. I'm not a morning person, so I apologize in advance. Right off the bat, we got a custom e-bike conversion. I'm gonna go over what this bike is, what we did to it, and what makes this thing just the best value out there. If you're new to the channel, I'm Johnny Nerd out. I convert bikes into e-bikes for a living, full time usually more than full-time. What else do you want to know? I mean, let's go in into this. Let's just dive right in. So this motor, we got a 750 watt BBS O2 motor, puts out 750 watts nominal, about 1500 watts peak. So this thing is, it's a strong motor. It's a really good one. We added a rear rack to it, just a summit rack. We also added a rear light to that rack that's integrated. It runs off of this motor so that you could control the light from here. We also did the same up front with a headlight. We added a bell, added a mirror, two, two easiest safety features I, I strongly recommend putting on your bike. A mirror so you could see where you're going without turning back and then riding into something. You just glance down really quick, see there's a car, okay. Bell, let people know if you're sneaking up on them. Boom, 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 let them know. Just be polite. Not all e-bikes, e-bikers are jerks. Let's see, we got the front, we got went with the display, we went with the DPC-14. This is a nice, big color display. It also features a USB out, so you could charge your phone or anything else like that. If you're, if you're into stuff like that, if you need a USB out, DPC-14 is a good value display. To my knowledge, it's the cheapest display for the Bafang that also has a USB out. If you don't need it, I like the, the 500C. It's a nice small display, but it's totally your preference. People always ask, which one should I get? I'm like, it's your preference. I don't know. What kind of lifestyle do you lead? You know, I don't want to get too personal. I don't want to dig in. It gets, gets weird fast when you talk to people about which displays they're into. Trust me. So yeah, this bike has got, oh yeah, we went with a, uh, a 52 volt 14 amp hour. This is a slim profile one. So this, this battery is nice if you have a full suspension bike that you don't have a lot of clearance to. Obviously this wasn't the case with this one. We could have gone with anything, but it just happened to work out that it's a slim profile battery. Went with a gear shift sensor. Obviously it's a mid drive, so you got to put a gear shift sensor on it. That's just an automatic clutch, cuts power while you shift gear so you're not breaking chains and, and doing that. When people say mid drives break chains and they, it ruins your cassettes and stuff, I don't know how they're riding. I'd like to follow them and just watch how they're riding because it's probably super abusive. <laughs> so you could do that to any car if you wanted to. If you're just smashing through gears and giving it full throttle over, you're gonna break stuff. But if you treat a mid drive and ride it like a normal bike, if you know how to ride a bike, these things are not abusive on your drivetrain. It's nonsense. And these things are whisper quiet. I'd say, I'd almost argue that these are, if I put a noise test next to a cheap hub motor, this thing is quieter, for sure. This thing is whisper quiet. People always get on and they're like, I don't hear anything. I thought this was gonna be so loud. I don't hear anything. It's like, yeah, because mid drives are not loud. If they're loud, that means there's something wrong with it. It means you need to like grease up your gears or something. Anyway, it's going on a tangent. I'm done with that. Let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test on this bad boy and uh, see what it does. All right, guys, hope you found this helpful. Obviously, you can see this is an older bike, Gary Fisher, Mamba. These were high-end bikes back in the day. These were like the original mountain bikes. Gary Fisher was the OG when it came to making mountain bikes. And then I think they got bought out by Specialized, I wanna say. That's neither here nor there. Everybody's gotta sell out someday, but not Johnny Nerd Out. Never. I ain't never selling out. Yes, I am wearing Carhartt gear. <laughs> but they didn't pay me for it. I paid them for it. That's the opposite. I bought in. I didn't sell out. All right, guys. Hopefully you found this helpful. And uh, yeah, good luck on your build.